today we're gonna be doing something that is gonna be super crazy. According to my calculations, this is ice right here. Look, watch this. <laughs> That is definitely ice. All right, but guys, today what we are going to be doing is like literally messing around on all of the ice. But sadly, like the ice is super weak right now and stuff, so we can't actually walk on it. But don't worry, instead of walking on the ice today, instead, we're literally just gonna like absolutely destroy it. Because destroying ice is like super fun. Now give me like two seconds and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab something really quick. A few moments later. We have the super awesome, beautiful dirt bike. And I also have my helmet so that I am safe and protected. Protected. Now guys, I'm sure some of you already noticed, but unfortunately I lost one of the lenses to my glasses. So rest in peace. Beautiful $1 glasses, you will always be missed. <laughs> Get on the dirt bike and do some stuff. So I hopped on my ginormous dirt bike and started it up. Then I drove over to the place where I was going to be riding on the ice at and did this epic wheelie. All right, here goes nothing, guys. I'm going to run over all of this ice with the dirt bike. And hopefully I don't die. So one like equals one prayer. The dirt bike made it through all of this. But it only made it because of my super manly muscles. Wait a minute. Guys, look. Random stuff swimming pool is literally full of ice. Oh, snap. Uh, random stuff. Do you care if I walk on your pool that's full of ice? Just do it. Just do it. Do it! Okay, guys, here goes nothing, but warning to all of you watching, do not try this at home because walking on ice and stuff can be very dangerous. Okay, here goes nothing. Guys, look, the whole swimming pool is moving when I rock it. 12 seconds later. It's like I'm surfing on ice. So that's pretty cool, but I think I can do better than that. I'm gonna go grab something. According to my calculations and observations, I can do a donut on this giant sheet of ice what? on the beautiful Barbie bicycle. Ow. Okay, so speaking of swimming pools, guys, we just blew up our giant one and we're gonna take it out to the pond and literally jump inside of it while it's in the pond. So come on, follow me, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna throw the pool on the pond and it's literally frozen right now and let's see what happens. <laughs> And the golf club is gonna come with us so that we can use it to get back to land with. <laughs> now, guys, I'm gonna walk on the pool while it's on top of the pond to see if it will break the ice or not. Let's do this. Let's do this. I feel like the ice is about to break. All right, now I'm gonna do a jump test. I'm literally gonna jump and see if the ice breaks below me. <laughs> Okay, that broke. All right, I'm just gonna full send it in three, two, one. Ah, uh, that was not a good idea. I just said a boatload of ice. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're But hey, we still have the golf club. Rest in peace, pond ice. I'm dying. 
Help me. Hey, what's up, guys? I am now, like, super cold and stuff. I'm literally, like, super wet now. And I literally just went on our pond full of ice with our swimming pool. And unfortunately, it broke the ice, so the ice is not strong enough to walk on right now. But I think that might be it for right now, guys. We're gonna go inside and warm up. And then we will be back out later to do some more crazy stuff. So we'll see you then. Two hours later. No, seriously, what is up, Torn Fam? And welcome to today's main part of the video. Now, guys, in today's video, what we are gonna be doing is. Oh my goodness! Guys, look! It's Pikachu! He's literally sitting over there on our bow! We gotta go capture him before he gets away! Yes, guys, we got him! Torn, didn't you literally? just capture Pikachu in your last video? Oh yeah, random stuff, I forgot. You stupid. Oh, I know for real, guys. If you don't remember, in our last video, which is this one right here up on the screen, we literally captured Pikachu like in real life by using a trap. So we literally have him right here. And guys, the goal today is to try to open him up to see if there is anything inside of him. Because in the past, whenever we've captured like super crazy things in our backyard, whenever we open them up, we found like super crazy things inside of them before. So yeah, again, that's what we're going to be doing today is trying to open him up to see if we can find anything crazy inside of him. But the first thing I'm going to try to do is actually open up Pikachu with my bare hands. So let's see if I can do it. Oh. Open up. Come on, super manly muscles. Don't fail me now. Oh. This makes me so mad. He literally did not open up at all. 12 seconds later. Alright, so since I couldn't rip Pikachu apart, me and random stuff are literally gonna play football with him. What? Because that should totally work. I'm open! <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> 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 Alright, so we just got done playing football with Pikachu. Let's see if it was enough to open him up. Okay, so guys, according to my calculations and observations of Pikachu, we have still not opened him up yet. But we are not about to give up. I still have a couple more strategies, and this next one should definitely work 100%. We're literally about to destroy Pikachu because we are gonna John Cena him on the trampoline. <laughs> So I ran over here so that I could get a good running start into the trampoline. Oh, that was sick. Take this, Pikachu! <laughs> and his name is John Cena! Okay, that for sure should have opened him up. So let's take a look here. And well, so far, guys, I'm not seeing anything. It doesn't look like he's open. No way! I literally put all my energy into opening him up. Take this! Now that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. So let's go out here and see if we have opened him up now. Say what? Say what? Look, we actually did open him up this time. There's like literally a little hole right here. Yeah, so thank you very much, Tree, for helping us out. But guys, for real, it is now time to search around to see if we can find anything inside of Pikachu now that he has opened up. So hopefully we can find something inside of him. I have absolutely no idea if we will be able to or not. Okay, well, he's definitely like full of stuffing. Or wait, is this like cotton candy? Oh, that's nasty. It's definitely not cotton candy. Okay, but for real, let's continue searching. Yo, guys, I feel something inside of him. I'm going to try to get it out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Guys, I literally just found this piece of paper inside of Pikachu. But, guys, it looks like there's, like, something on it. But it's, like, all folded up. So, let's go ahead and unfold it to see what it is. 
noise. Look, it's some sort of note or something. Let's see what it says. There's a lot more of us, so let me go or they'll come and get me. Guys, no way. Pikachu literally left us a note like inside of him that said that there's a lot more of them and that they're gonna come and get him if we don't let him go. So I don't know if we're like supposed to let Pikachu go or not because again, the note said that there's a lot more of them and if they come to like get Pikachu or something, that could be pretty dangerous. But like we literally just captured him and remember he was like challenging us to capture him as well. So I'm not sure if we should let him go or not. But guys, again, here's what the note said. Oh my gosh! I was reaching down to grab this note to read it again and look! This must have been inside of Pikachu as well and I must have missed it! It's literally like another piece of paper! And this says something as well! Right here it says, put me here! And then there's like these red arrows right here pointing to that circle in the middle! That must be like where he wants us to let him go at! Now if we read what this says on it, it says that this is the creek and there's a woods over here and then this is also the woods as well! So I'm guessing the place that he is talking about is literally right over there at our creek. Let's go over there really quick and check it out. Come on. Alright, so if we look at the map, I'm pretty sure we're like right here. So Pikachu literally wants us to let him go all the way on the other side of the creek. But look, the water in our creek is like pretty high right now. And since it's freezing outside, I don't think we're going to be able to get across right now. So I don't know if once the creek goes down, if we should let him go or not. I mean, random stuff. What do you think we should do? Torg, I think we should wait to let him go. So that way I can go inside right now and play Fortnite. Okay, guys, I guess random stuff doesn't want us to let Pikachu go today because he literally wants to go inside to play Fortnite. And guys, I guess while we're talking about Fortnite, if you guys do play Fortnite, because I'm sure some of you do, then please use creator code TORG in the Fortnite item shop whenever you buy something because it'll help support me. Alright guys, I really do hope you all enjoyed today's video. I think we're gonna have to go and end it right here. But it was super crazy. We literally opened up Pikachu and found like a note inside of him and also found this map as well where he told us where he wants us to like let him go at. Now I'm not sure if we're gonna let him go or not but we will decide in a future video. But again I just really hope you all had fun in today's video and like enjoyed it and stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and end it right now. Please make sure you guys go destroy that subscribe button though if you are brand new and ding that notification bell as well so you guys do not miss any of our future videos. Yeah we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with that one random ginger. Uh yeah goodbye. Ow, that hurts super bad.